All right, so another example here about finding the focus of a parabola. And the first thing we're going to have to do is actually come up with the equation of this parabola. We'll manipulate it a little bit, and then we'll find the focus. So we want to find the focus of the parabola that has vertex at negative 5, comma 2. So negative 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, um, and positive 2. You don't have to do this at all. You don't have to draw the picture, but to me, it, it definitely helps me. It opens vertically, so that means it's going to either open up or down. Um, it passes through this point, negative 3, comma 0. So to me, that's going to tell me that it's opening downwards. So, okay, um, that means the focus should be sitting somewhere sort of inside of there. But the first thing I'm going to do is find the equation. So it's of the form y equals a times x minus h squared plus k. Well, they give us the vertex, so we can plug that in. We would have x minus negative 5, or x plus 5 squared. And then uh, the y value of the vertex is positive 2, so that's what we'll just drop down in there. Um, I can use this information that it passes through the point negative 3, 0. So if we use that, it says if we plug 0 in for y and negative 3 in for x, this will now give us an equation that will allow us to solve for our a value. I'm going to subtract the 2 over. Um, inside the parentheses, we would have 2 squared, or 4. If we divide both sides by 4, we'll get negative 2 over 4, or we'll get negative 1 half as our a value. All right, so really the equation of our parabola here would be y equals negative 1 half x plus 5 quantity squared plus 2. And that certainly makes sense that my a value should be negative because, again, this parabola is opening downwards. Now, to me, um, we've kind of got these two different forms where there's an x squared in the problem and where there's a y squared in the problem. Well, definitely we're going to have one where there's an x squared inside of there. Again, what I do is if there's any, um, if there's any coefficient other than a 1, what I try to do is I try to get rid of that coefficient from uh, the squared term. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to multiply both sides by negative 2. So I'll get negative 2y equals, okay, so if I multiply the right side by negative 2, so we've got negative 2y on the left. If we distribute, we'll have positive 1, x plus 5 squared minus 4. I don't really care so much about the, uh, the negative 4 at all. All that I want is I'm glad that there's now a coefficient of a 1 in front of my squared term. Once I do that, I look at the other side. Whatever's sitting um, next to, whatever the coefficient on the y term is, we set 4p four P, four P equal to that value. Okay, so in this case, if we solve for p, we're going to get uh, p equals negative 2 fourths or negative 1 half. If you take the absolute value of this, uh, this number, negative 1 half, that's going to be the distance that I go away from the vertex in order to do two things. You could find the directrix, and you could also find the focus. So the idea is, again, if I take the absolute value of negative 1 half, I would get positive 1 half. That's the distance from my vertex to my directrix. That's also the distance from my vertex to the focus. Okay, well, we can now use this information because we said the vertex, we said the vertex is at this point, negative 5, comma, 2. Well, clearly I'm moving down two units to get to the, 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 um, the focus. Well, if I'm moving down two units, I would simply have to take my original y value where the focus was, and well, I would have to subtract one half from that. So in this case, it looks like my focus, I keep saying focus, I wrote foci, um, it looks like our focus in this case would be at negative five, two minus a half is gonna give us three halves. So that would be the focus in this case. Um, we could actually figure out the directrix. Uh, since this is, uh, the vertex is at y equals two, if we add one half to that, we would get two and a half, or equivalently, 
five halves, and that would actually be our directrix in this case. And the problem didn't ask for it, but, uh, you know, why not go ahead and think about it here?